you know, throw up here. A um, bit of a wet day today, so I thought I'd do another YouTube video. And today we're going to look at improvisation. You know, you get in those situations when you're working on jobs and you haven't got the, the right tool to do the job, or it's too big, or uh, anyway, you, you're up that creek and uh, you need a you need a bit of tooling. And so I always make my own. Um, I very rarely buy stuff. And I suppose you could say my tooling is, is pretty, pretty rough, but it works. Um, here's an old boring bar I had that the tip was worn out and I just brazed on a, uh, a bit of scrap carbide. Here's another one I made up. And it's just um, a bit of scrap steel with, some, uh, with a hard shank and, a, and an old uh, stuffed carbide tip. Uh, ground on, they all work. And then here we've got another one, a nice small one, and small ones are handy, you know, and the small ones are the problem generally. You, you can't get them small enough to, to do the job. You know, you want to machine something, you haven't got the right size drill, so, or you want to do a fractional fit, you've got to have a small boring bar. So today we're going to look at small boring bars. Here's a, here's a uh, actually a commercially made one, I did lie, I have got one. Um, that actually came with my little old um, Shawblin, so it's the only it's the only commercial boring bar I actually possess. All the rest are all just built up. Anyway, cut to the chase. If you want to make a boring bar like this, where you um, a hard bronzing on the the tip, all these three are all hard bronze brazed on. You have to have a, a, a either an, an oxy of set lean set or a gas gun like this. This is the Bullfinch uh, auto brazing gun. Uh, there's a link in this video to um, this particular gun. Um, they're not cheap, but they work great, and they can do hard bronze brazing, which other LPG guns can't really. Um, and uh, it's a good gun, but not everybody's got one of those, and they're not cheap either. So, okay, you want to make yourself up a, a small boring bar. Um, you definitely, you know, you desperately need one, and uh, you. Uh, you can't do hard bronze brazing. What do you do? Well, you go to your scrap heap. I mean, if you're like me and you keep all the rubbish in the world, because there is a really no such thing as scrap. It's all usable, recyclable material. And you drag out an old engine valve. There you go, engine valve. Now, that is just um, basic um, engine valve out of an old three litre motor and believe it or not the actual engine valves are made out of really hard steel um, there's two sorts of engine valves, there's inlet and there's an exhaust, the best one to use is the inlet because um, some of the exhaust valves, the old ones, can be um, sodium filled so they've got a sodium centre you don't want to use those so go for the inlet ones and uh, all we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, the stem and we're going to make a little boring bar out of that and basically all we're going to do is we're going to cut off the cut off the head we're going to heat it up with our uh, ordinary gas gun we're going to bend the end over slightly and we're basically going to try and make up something similar to this tool steel boring bar out of a valve We'll see if it works. I have done this, but it was a long time ago. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing, we slice off the head. Okay, we've cut the head off. We don't need that bit that can go in the, in the 
scrap scrap bin, so it's definitely recycling uh, material. And now we'll just clean up the end so we get it uh, uniform. All right. Now, you can actually turn these um, in the lathe with um, carbide if you want to, but we're not going to worry about it because this is not going to be the prettiest boring bar you ever saw. As long as it does the job, uh, this is sort of boring bar you make up to get yourself out of a hole. So now we'll uh, heat it up and we'll bend the tip. Okay, we're ready to do a bit of grinding now. Let it cool down. In fact, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll quench it. All right, I just put it in the water pot and uh, quenched it. So now we'll uh, we'll grind the uh, the profile on the end, and uh, we're good to go. Right, well now all we want to do is emulate the same profile as that uh, tall steel boring bar. So you can just see you basically have to do a flat on the end first, come across to the flat, and then you do your end, your cutting edge, and then you do your, uh, your reliefs. So we'll do that. Okay, here's the finished boring bar. It didn't take long to do. There's a flat on the uh, end of it. And uh, I mean, you can continue that along as far as you want to go, depending on how much uh, um, overhang you want. But in this case, we'll give it a fair bit. I've just done this quickly. Um, it'll pay to grind all the way along, really. But anyway, just a demonstration, we'll do it this way. And we've got a profile on the end. We've got relief. Got a slightly rounded tip on it. So now we'll try it out. Now these are good for aluminium, brass, no problem whatsoever. When you get onto steel, uh, they will go dull fairly quickly, so they're only a compromise. This stuff's not as hard as high speed steel uh, by a long stretch, but it's, uh, it's okay, as I said, for aluminium, brass, good stuff. So uh, we'll set it up and give it a go. All right, well, we're ready to try her out. And we'll do it on a bit of aluminium first. I've only got a uh, small bit here, but you'll see how it performs on aluminium. So uh, we'll get into it. Go a bit deeper. Give it a heavy cut. Hmm, well that 
was a piece of cake, wasn't it? Aluminium is no problem, as I knew it would be. Um, now we'll see how it goes on a bit of steel. All right, we'll try on a bit of steel now. Let's see how she goes. carbon steel and that is an old engine inlet valve stem and that is harder than that not bad not bad at all so uh, yeah if you want to uh, get yourself out of a hole and all you got is an old engine valve yep cut it up Bend it, grind it, and you got yourself an old cheapo, quick and dirty boring bar. Okay, I hope you found that interesting and helpful. I'll see you next time.